Happy Friday, everyone. It's raining federal dollars, and one caller has some advice for students. But first, another shoe drops at Cincinnati City Hall. Hamilton County Grand Jury indicted Wendell Young on a tampering charge related to the so-called Gang of Five text message and open meeting scandal. I think maybe they ought to take a vote to move the city council to the Hamilton County uh, Jail, and that way they could all still do their job. I think it's time for the residents of Cincinnati to just clean house and get rid of all the council members. I'm amazed how certain elected officials can be charged with some type of a crime and maintain their position with pay. If, if it's a cr crime, they should be turned loose, prosecuted, and be done with it. To pass or not to pass, that is the question as CPS students who have fallen behind with remote learning may be allowed to move on to the next grade, unlike traditional years. Meanwhile, the debate over holding kids back continues. I wouldn't hold kids back. But I think they should consider having the students take a subject evaluation test at the beginning of the year to see where they stand in the relation to where they should be on different subjects. This way they can get help on subjects that they need to study more. Sorry, kids. Lots of homework ahead. But you've heard it before, and it's true. You can't build a strong bridge with a weak foundation. But students, listen to me. Learn a trade. We're going to need you to fix all the stuff that got broke. And oh, by the way, a lot of you need to become doctors. With a windfall of over 290 million federal dollars and Cincinnati's ideas of where to spend it, viewers had a few things to say. Don't give it to the arts. Don't give it to the museum center. Don't give it to any of these organizations. Give it to the people that need it, which is the poor people and uh, people that live paycheck to paycheck so they don't lose their home. Hey, the simple answer is two words, tall stacks. I would like to see more affordable housing and also more police. We need some foot patrol in this city. No, no funds should go to the police unless some, some real social justice changes have been implemented. Finally. ABC News broke into General Hospital with President Biden's announcement that he plans to pull all troops out of Afghanistan by September 11th. I don't want to seem ungrateful. I'm glad we're getting people out of Afghanistan. Unless breaking news is there's a war starting or a tornado coming, please stop breaking in between two and three. Thanks. And thank you so much for your calls this week. Remember, if you ever have an opinion about a story you see right here on 9, call that hotline number 513-852-4998. I love listening to them.